So here we are, day two. I have gotten a second coat on all of the interior. And man, it is looking good. I may just keep it white. I thought about doing a different color, but I like the white. So that part is done. And then I've kind of taken off a bunch of the exterior pieces. Um, I also took out the, the ice box. That's the styrofoam that goes around it. And I've started spraying stuff black just to get it away from that old brown and the bad colors. So there's the handle that goes on the back that used to be silver. This is the heater cover and that used to be brown. You can see the brown color underneath. So I got that sprayed. This is the plate for the back of the handle. And this right here is the heater exhaust. So this is where all the hot air comes out. So man, they're looking gorgeous. Um, I love the way that it's come out. Um, and once we paint the exterior of this and we get it the color we want, um, everything will pop as far as black accents. So what I also plan on doing is, you know, with these windows and such, is I'll probably tape off the window part, uh, tape off the screen most likely, and then I will spray all around the edges just to get that really covered. And then once it's covered in black, then I will go ahead and clean up all this and put on my paint or bed liner or whatever I decide to do. So that is the plan for the exterior. And we're already getting some of these caps in. Um, I got them all in black colors so I can just swap them out. The white ones fade. And then it looks like whoever did this before just really kind of did a shoddy job trying to keep up with the water. And uh, yeah, this is gonna get sanded off so we can actually paint it without having it peel off down the road. So that's the plan for now. The last thing I'm gonna do is the roof, which is gonna get another coat of rubber sealant. And then I'll probably just paint it white, you know, get some sort of exterior white paint and paint it really, really good. Um, fix some of the lights and stuff up here. But for the most part, there's no damage to it. It's still structurally sound. Um, got one little piece on the outside here that I gotta fix. But well, that should be pretty easy. And then the uh, last thing for me to pull down, as I said, um, are the clamps here. Uh, these are what actually holds the top down. And I'm gonna spray paint these black as well. So that's kind of where we're at right now. I'm doing the window coverings, which are out in the lawn. And out pretty good too. So I'm gonna give a couple more coats of paint, see what happens. And then right here is the ice box. And then uh, when I get a chance to do the exterior, I will do all of the exterior and make it super nice. So that is the plan for now. So this is kind of the completion of day two. I am gonna go get some paint and paint the inside of that, but you guys don't need to see me paint the inside, um, but I will do that uh, very shortly. So I'll probably get that done. And then next time you see this, I'll have the interior painted. And then we're talking about putting the window coverings back on. We are doing uh, the heater and the drawers and everything. I might paint the drawers a different color. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, I need to get a new spout for the sink. And then I'm probably gonna make some sort of cover for the top of the stove. And then we're gonna do a backsplash in the little kitchen area, um, make it kinda, kinda cool. So after all that is said and done, the last piece will be cushions and then also figuring out what I'm gonna do for a table. Um, I do have the table from uh, the previous owner and I like it. I just think there might be a way to do it better. So I'm gonna have to look into options for a table. Um, I already got some window covering. I got this Reflectex window covering right here. And that's gonna go over each window, try to give a little bit of um, insulation in the winter time. And then I've also seen people actually do the Reflectex over the canvas when they get to their spot. So they lay it down flat on the bed and then they pop up the tent and then they put that Reflectex all the way around and it's said to hold in heat better. I don't know, I guess we'll see. So that's the plan for now, but we gotta get to painting. And then after painting, we gotta start doing the doors and drawers. And then once everything is back in the camper, then we'll start reassembling things and going from there on what's next. But uh, the floor is definitely happening. I'm just gonna wait until I get uh, most of this stuff done before I put the floor in, because once the floor is in, um, it just doesn't need to be getting dirty from all the paint and everything else that I'm doing. So um, I'm gonna leave this linoleum here 
Uh, it's too much of a pain to rip up. There's no reason to rip it up. You can put down the laminate flooring right over the top. So in that case, I'm not gonna worry about it. So that's about it. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos and I'll keep you posted on what's next. But right now everything is pretty boring. So um, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in more relatable content, you can check out these videos right here. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe down below so you can stay updated on our next adventures.